Hi there, later, a legendary queer ally in Ghana. But first, let's talk about the ride-sharing service that's been launched in Pakistan for transgender people. The hope is She Drives will be a safe alternative for those who are often harassed on public transport. Trans people are seen as outcasts in Pakistan, which is a mainly Muslim country. Hushbu lives there. She's transgender and tells DW it's hard. There are good and bad people. Most of them are bad. In crowds, people grope us or do nasty things. Someone will say, why are you doing this? We say to them, we're humans like you. The She Drive service is starting off in Lahore with a view to expanding to other Pakistani cities. If you're non-binary in Malta, you can now get legal recognition on your birth certificate. A new law's just come into effect, so the gender option X is included on official ID documentation. Malta's ranked the most progressive country in Europe for LGBTQ plus rights by the snappily titled International Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Trans and Intersex Association. Oh, I'm out of breath. And why has a heterosexual man dressed entirely in pink in the middle of a busy city in Ghana? It's because Texas Kadiri Morrow is a top-flight ally. Yes, he is. The activist has been protesting in Accra against plans for extra anti-queer laws in the West African nation, where gay sex is already illegal. He brought pro-LGBTQ plus banners with him and trumpet players. If you tell your friends about Pride Daily, they'll like you even more. I'm Kev McGrath. See you tomorrow.